It's day five of the 2010 World Wheelchair Basketball Championships. I'm here with Abdi Denis, uh, Team Canada men just defeated Turkey 69 to 60. And Abdi, uh, the t game was tied at halftime. And you guys really seemed to come out flying in the third quarter. You scored nine straight points. What was the difference between the first half and, and uh, the second half? I think I would just see intensity defense just pushing their chairs, grinding their chairs, not letting them do what they want in offense. So I think our defense dictates our offense. So we feed off energy a lot from our defense and crossing and getting easy shots for our big guys. That was the big difference in the second half. What about shutting down some of their key players? Uh, number five for them had uh, 17 points, I think, in the first quarter, and I'm not sure that he scored again in the game. Uh, was that an adjustment that you guys made, or how did that work that you were able to, to kind of shut him down? Our key to our game was hold him under uh, 18 points. That was the main goal of our game because he's their number one threat, so and he gets the ball a lot, and he likes to shoot anywhere, anytime he gets the ball. So. St stopping his momentum was the number one key to our the, to their offense, so our and defense. So it was it was good. We had a good success doing that. Is that is is that something that you guys look at with uh, I don't know if it's video content or how do you prepare uh, for a game like this when you know that they have a couple of key shooters? Uh, we do a video. We do watch a video and we watch a lot of tend to see what they like to do and who they're working with and. What's like how they set up their offense, stuff like that. We are the mostly that was our game plan, just to look for what they tend to do mostly. Great. Well, that's uh, Abdi Denis and Team Canada men with another successful victory today. They're now 4 0. And next up, we have Team Canada women. They're taking on Mexico, and we'll get to that action later this afternoon. I'm standing outside the Jury's Inn here in Birmingham. This is where all the teams that are at the 2010 World Wheelchair Basketball Championships are staying. I'm about to meet up with uh, Team Canada member Richard Peter. He's agreed to show us around a little bit. So we're going to head on inside and uh, get a tour from Richard. Hey Richard. How's it going, Rudy? I'm good. So, how's, uh, how's the Birmingham yeah. men treating you? Uh, we're having a good time. Uh, we're, you know, five, four or five games already in the tournament and uh, just hanging out here at the hotel. Do you want to show me around a little bit? Sure, yeah. So this is the Drury's Inn and this is uh, the front lobby. Whenever we have some quick questions, they come down and answer it for us. And uh, But they've also got another information desk just down the road here, so we'll check out that. And um, they also got, uh, as you see, it's pretty crowded here at times with all the teams. So there's 22 teams staying here. Is that right? There's the, the tw 12, uh, 12 men's teams and 10 women's teams? Yep, everybody's here, both men's and women's, uh, 22 teams. So it does get pretty busy with the elevators, which was just down off the side there. There's uh, four elevators, so it gets pretty busy there at times, especially around meal times. And also, they're doing really helping us out, and they've got a little internet cafe down here for us. If you want to come down, check some emails, or send some notes off to everybody. And of course, if you want to sit down here, you can also bring down your own computer, and just they have uh, wireless internet, so just sit on the couches and uh, check your own computer. Uh, emails and so on and do whatever you want so that's what a lot of players do too and so as you see behind me it's uh, pretty quiet right now but uh, that's the cafeteria so that's where all the teams come down for meal times and so on they do a really good job and they organize say all right we all have specific times for teams to come down to eat I think our dinner time tonight is between eight and nine so that's when our uh, time is to come down and eat and so they organize all the teams because if you try to have a full rush of everybody coming down to eat at one time, then it gets pretty busy, so they're setting it up really well. How many teams uh, will eat at one time? Um, let's see, I'll probably just top my head, I'll say between four and six teams. They've got pretty good seat in there, so they'll just have like Team Canada in the corner or off on different sides, and so I think about between four and six teams at a time. Is that a pretty good opportunity to kind of mingle with some of the other players from the other teams? Um, it's well, usually down here in the lobby, yeah. Yeah, I was running to everybody. And, it's really great that, you know, the Drury's Inn is really close to our venue where we're playing games, so everybody just sort of wheels back and forth, and yeah, you run into everybody here in the lobby over at the gym, and so everybody's just hanging out and seeing what they're doing and checking each other out. Awesome. Well, the women have a game coming up against Mexico, so why don't you say we, uh, we head on over there. Yeah. Uh, women versus Mexico, we'll head over to the gym. Cheer them on.
So I'm here with Alicia Williams, member of uh, Team Canada. They just beat Mexico, 69-60. Uh, to 60. And Alicia, you seem to come out pretty strong today against them. Uh, how, did, how did you guys maintain your momentum throughout the game? We just kept really fired up, and we knew that Mexico had just come off a big win against the Netherlands, so no, we, we knew that they'd be fired up, so we really wanted to match their intensity and keep it our style of game and uh, not get uh, let them set the pace. And how are you enjoying your first World Championships? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm loving it. It's been great here. Um, we're really close to the facility, so there's lots of stuff to do right around the gym, and the games have been really exciting, so it's been a blast so far. Your next game is going to be against Australia tomorrow morning. The winner uh, of that game is going to finish first in this pool, so it's coming up pretty soon. Um, are you guys going to have time to prepare, and, and what sort of things will you be doing to get ready for that game? Yeah, it's a quick turnaround, so uh, we're just off actually right now, heading back for dinner, then we'll have a game plan meeting and turn our focus on to Australia. They're sort of a similar team, they're really fast and scrappy, so again we want to come out strong and set the pace and uh, break their press. Is there anyone uh, back home that you wanted to say hi to? Yeah, my mom and dad. Hi guys, how are you doing? And my dog Finn. Great, thanks very much. Well, we look forward to the game tomorrow. We have Canada women taking on Australia in the morning, and then that'll be followed by the men who are also facing Australia.